First, we want to know what our money sector looks like. Cancer, what's going on? Okay, so in our money sector, we have the tower and we have the knight of cups. So I think for cancer, as with all of us, there are beginnings and endings. Whatever this is speaking to, it's a positive ending with yes. It says that whatever you're passing through, whatever ending has come to pass, there's an appreciation for the results. There's, uh, uh, again, the Knight of Cups brings an affirmation of satisfaction, of um, maybe even attraction. Are you attracted to something new? where your career is concerned because something has come to an end. So um, the endings for you, Cancer, especially at this time, the endings are going to bring positive beginnings. What's going on in your home? The Six of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So I can see that during this time period, there may be meetings, associations. You may be having gatherings in your home. I feel a lot of this is past connections, old friendships, family members, and that um, element of camaraderie, kind of togetherness. And again, I can see that this is a ha this is leading into a happy time. Maybe you're celebrating whatever you're going through, whatever changes. Uh, and these are dramatic changes in someone's career. You know, this isn't just the key to the executive bathroom. You know, it's the corner office with the big promotion for someone. The change is dramatic. But to me, it feels like promotion, promotion from within. You may be celebrating that moment, but the rise in the career also has a positive effect on the home. Uh, you may be uh, considering a return home uh, in one way or another. Uh, I just think that with the home, and the dramatic changes in the career, there's a connection there for some of you. Now, let's look at uh, the primary focus for you. Okay. What's your focus really looking like? And why not? Because it just makes sense. The Nine of Cups is sort of that a greedy kind of energy. Give it all to me and give it to me now. I want it. I want it. I want it. And the Knight of Pentacles. He's the slower energy. He's the energy that kind of slows that up a little bit. The progress, though, is really coming in strong for whoever this is. A lot of gratitude. A lot of satisfaction. A lot of blessings that are coming with these dramatic changes around you. I think that your focus may be on uh, the slow movement where the financial gratification comes in, but I think there's a deep satisfaction for what it is that you're doing right now. Uh, there feels and looks to me like there are strides forward, especially with these changes connected to your career. It sort of feels like that career change is building up every aspect of your life, and that's a good energy to go with here. Now, we want to look at what your surroundings are like, and the outsiders, those who are on the outside looking in. The Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Well, there's that ending again. There's that ending. This is the dr dramatic ending that is sort of changing things for you. Now, with the Four of Pentacles, 
I think that, um, I mean, I have to ask you, really, what you're holding on to here. Because the Four of Pentacles can be holding on, uh, protecting, even. And with the Ten of Swords, I would have to say maybe protecting. Uh, are you protecting yourself from your surroundings? Are your surroundings also changing quickly? Um, I have to ask, is there more violence where you live? And you're feeling maybe that part of this growth is the need to leave some sort of a energy where you have to be of something. It may be your home, it may be your money, it may be just the nature of being conservative so that you can change your surroundings. Or, but with the Ten of Swords, you, you're you always looking for the something better. And after the Ten of Swords, we know it redu reduces back to the Ace. So it comes back to that new beginning, but it's a new thought process. So we're holding on to something dearly here, but we're needing to let something go at the same time. Uh, maybe you're, you're needing to leave your surroundings behind. Uh, and maybe that's what you're saving for, is the opportunity to change, change your piece of real estate in this world. Maybe you want to move to another country because things where you're at are sort of, I feel like you're almost immobile. There's no real progression forward. And I almost feel like there's no real reason for some of you to stay where you're at. So if you're miserable, you're really... Uh, holding on, holding on dearly, maybe even financially, so that you can move on. The Ten of Swords is kind of a, a, a rough feeling where you've been betrayed a hundred times to next week. And you just want to move on and you're really feeling like you can't. And it feels to me like maybe there's a lot of anxiety around uh, your current, maybe, living situation. But there's something there that feels uneasy for you. Let's just move on from that. What is coming next? The High Priestess and the Three of Cups. So, you know, uh, all of this development, all of these sort of, deliberate but fantastical kind of changes there comes a wisdom through life's opportunities through the pain through the endings there are always these life lessons that bring you closer closer to an intuition. And with cancer, we know cancer is already deeply intuitive. You're one of the most intuitive signs in, in, in on the chart. But are you using it all? Because what's next is telling me you need to resort and refer and depend on the wisdom of the high priestess because it's going to bring you closer to the real joy, that real, that real um, sense that things are moving correctly and that there are reasons to be happy here. Um, I don't think it's in the negative. I think this is turning around. I think the Ten of Swords is going for a flip because you're learning the lessons. You're learning the lessons of the maybe the hardships, the disappointments, whatever has happened in the past. There's a new sense of wisdom around cancer. 
and using that sense of wisdom is really just going to be bring you closer to a sense of gratitude and satisfaction. And you're really moving in a positive direction because you're going to have more gratitude in your life because of the things you've accomplished. Again, Ganesh is saying a great big yes here. So far, it's all positive movement, especially the Ten of Swords and the Tower. Those endings are critical for someone in order to have the success that's coming in their life. Now, let's look at the objectives and the visions in the situation. The Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So, you're keeping your perspective. Your sense of gratitude is up. Your sense of satisfaction with whatever it is that's coming your way is really a joyful kind of, of uh, I think, what you're envisioning. Is this really fulfilling future? Is, this is the vision. The vision is the fulfilling future. But you're looking at something, a situation that's connected to your earnings, connected to the security that can carry you forward. And at this current time, there's an examination of that situation. You're keeping your positivity. I think your gratitude and the satisfaction that things are moving properly in the right way for whoever this is re regarding. The gratitude and all of that is there. But we've got a bit of a reflection on the financial part and Maybe some choices being made at this time regarding security, regarding money. Now, I'm going to say if what you're working towards is movement, because we've got a, we've got a bit of it here. Uh, we've also got feeling stuck. So if you're resorting to the examination of finances right now, you're going to keep your positivity because I think things are looking good, even though the pro progression we know is slow, especially when it comes through on the night and on the seven, because it's that examination and we are holding on to it. The creation of it is here. So I don't think you really have to worry about that. I think the uh, knowing that your security is going to be all right, I think that's a positive feeling right now for whoever is playing this out. All right. Here's your culmination for the time frame. I think we're talking about the time frame. I think this period of time uh, might actually move pretty rapidly. Even though we've got a slow progression with money, with the tower, it, there's usually so, sort of a spontaneous change. Now we have amore. Now that's the satisfaction. That's the glory. That's the accomplishment. It can be love coming your way too. That could be another yes. We'll take a look at that situation when we get over to Vimeo in a minute. But I think... This is really more about satisfaction, happiness, um, and things happening quickly because Amore is that Cupid's rapid arrow. It's that immediate hit and immediate effect that comes from it. So if this is career, it's going to be this immediate sense of satisfaction for you. Now, La Vecchia Signora, you have earned this opportunity, whatever this is. She tells me you have been at this for a while. There's a maturity in what you're doing. There's also a wisdom in what you're doing. But what the rewards are really 
uh, not just anticipated here. I think they are well discerned because of a, a long period of time that you have engaged in this. And like I said, you've been engaging in this for a while. And so what you've been building is the anticipation. And what the Mercante does is he produces a product and then he puts it out and he anticipates growth and he waits for the growth. And that's what the Knight of Pentacle does. That's what the seven does. That's what the four does. It's about the growth, the learning, the experience, and what you're producing. I think it, there's good things coming, but I think at this time there is a slower progression where money is concerned. The movements you're making, the choices you're making, all come with a yes from Ganesh. And so I think that's a good message for the week. The anticipation is there. The accomplishment is there. And the fact that you've spent time, energy, and you are have really earned the advancement and whatever is going on here. So I like that for cancer.